Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So in uh, today's video, before I go on, I'm going to get this out of the way. So it will be a question in the comment section. You know, people questioning me about it. Um, and I don't want it to be a question that will come up a lot in the comment section. Why am I wearing this? You know, so people have been thinking that I, I'm no longer a Christian. They think I'm now a Muslim. And I've explained that my hair is not yet done. Normally when my hair is not done, sometimes I wear it at home. I wear it around, you know, I wear something like this because my hair is not yet done. But the other day I was making a video. I just put a scarf over it and some people thought uh, I've converted to Islam. No, I am not a Muslim. I'm still a Christian. And uh, so... Um, that's why I'm wearing this and uh, what's it called? I know that something like this is associated with Islam or associated with Muslim women You know, I know there's actually a picture that I have of my mother wearing a scarf like this and some people used to say Oh, your mother is a Muslim. I'm like, no, she's not a Muslim. She just tied it on her head My thing is this whatever works cloth na cloth if that makes sense. So but anyways, I get her out of the way so um, I came across this post uh, by um, Annie Idibia, she's married to a Nigerian singer. For anyone that does not know, there's a Nigerian singer, Two Face, and he has, uh, I'm not too sure now, maybe four baby mamas. If I'm, I can't remember, but anyways, he has three, a few said baby mamas, but the one that he's married to is called Annie. So it's a long story, but anyways, I just wanted to just speak about a post that I saw about her. We'll talk about her a few times before. And, um, okay, let me read to you guys the post, right? She basically made a simple post in which she showed a picture of her husband and her their youngest child. And she tagged it. So for anyone that does not know, this guy has other children. So, but her daughter is the youngest, okay? And then she made this post on her Instagram in which she said, A guy and his last born last child right she posted these pictures of the her husband and their youngest child and people left comments right but there were some comments she replied to that makes me feel like it looks like it like she's going to spend the rest of her life defending her position in the life of this man and i am being honest i find that sad no woman should have to live like this no man either you know should uh neither should live like this right okay like i read you guys um the comments that she responded to that um okay this comment said oh are you sure about the word last bone so are you sure that this is going to be the last one anybody can read this comment in different ways right obviously when i saw that comment first thing that came to my mind is what if you're going to end up having another one do you know what I me mean? that was the first thing that came to my mind but she i think because of what has happened over the years and the way she knows some people come for her or you know whatever or maybe so a bit of insecurity right and this is her reply she said is your mom sure about who you call daddy that is a reply from annie Dibia. right i'm being honest that is a lot another comment this one says which won't be last born as in as in what do you mean by last child right he said two face will only stop when he hears from god anybody could say okay the husband may want to have more kids but i think because of the history of the whole thing and the husband being seen as a man that doesn't stay with one woman or whatever she, the her annie i believe she read the comment the way she read it so at the moment you and i may read it differently but there's a way she read it and she's not happy with it and she said and you will remain broke till then amen did you see that the man's comment or the person's comment says which one be last born two fails will only stop when he hears from God and that is her reply and you will be, remain broke till then amen she said and the guy replied to her and said well done God meaning are you God to say if I will be broke or not right and then another comment says we no more here I will scatter everything mad woman okay this comment is actually the first one I would say obviously is rude so anybody that knows the history of when the this Annie came out and said, oh, that her husband went to America. She went, he went to go and be with Pero, the mother of his oldest children. Oh, 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 I will scatter everything. That is what this person is referring to. And I said, we no one here. We don't want to hear. I will scatter everything, mad woman. And then she replied to her and said, the woman we born you is actually mad. That is one problem I have with a lot of Nigerians. Not all of us. Now, somebody has insulted you. Did not insult your mother. Why don't you, if you say you must reply the insult, why don't you insult that same person back? Why insult their mother? I can bet you that their mother does not know what they are doing on Instagram. Their mother does not know what they are doing on social media. Their mother may not even approve of that comment. So why insult their mother? 
I would never understand that. Right? She now said, the woman where born you is actually mad. He said, the man will mistakenly give her belly, naim mad pass. So she has insulted this person's mother and father. I personally would never understand it. Why not insult the person that is insulting you directly? Other than their father and their mother, their parents may not approve of what the child is doing. You get my point, anyways. And then this one says, uh, Who tell you say na last born? I go still born for him. Uh, official to Baba go reach everybody, and they put laughing emojis basically saying, Who told you that uh, she is a last born? He said, Even her is gonna have kids, even her is gonna have a child, she's gonna bear a, a child for her husband. Two baba, that's the two face, is her husband. So she too is going to have a child for your husband because the, your husband will get to everybody's turn, basically. Basically, saying that your husband doesn't stay in one place, right? And, and this is not the first time things like this has come up. And unfortunately, apparently, this Annie is an actress, she's a this, she's a that, she's a that. Unfortunately, she doesn't seem to be recognized for any of those other things apart from being the wife of Two Face. She's gotten into a lot of different things, you know, yet every time it comes back to she is the wife of Two Face, nothing else that people seem to remember. And um, when I read the whole thing, I thought to myself, how long can a woman continue to live like this? And don't forget that she's not the one that had children for different people who. All her children are with this guy. The guy is the one that has several children from different women, about three or four women. But somehow, she is the one that is made to feel the shame. And then she is spending so much of her time and energy. It comes across like that, to fight for her corner of being the wife of this guy. But I think somebody once left a comment and said, it's like she's a fan of her husband that married him and remained a fan. It's like she never transitioned from being a fan to becoming a wife. So, you know, everything she's still blown away by the fact that, oh, he's two-faced, I'm the wife of two-faced and all of that. Let me tell you guys, my thing is this, when it comes to people's mental health and, you know, their well-being, I worry when I see things like this. Annie Idibia's life, is, it looks like it. It's all about two-faced and the dragging and the shaming. People are shaming her to say, your husband only stay in one place. Your husband is a faithful type. Your husband is this. Why should she be the one to have the shame? I hardly see people shame this man for being the one that has children from different women. I'm not even saying go and shame him, but I'm saying that he is the one that has made the choices he's made in life. Let me tell you guys, I made a video which I explained. This is not like one night stand here and there. One woman has three children with him. The other one has two. And you know, like there's some people like, oh, one night stand and had a baby with that person and never had a baby with that person again. He must have had some connection with those other women to have gone and got them pregnant the second time, the third time. Those were relationships. Relationships that there was something tangible in it for him to have gone back a few more times and dropped more babies at those locations. So he is the one that has made these choices in his life. But Annie Idibi, unfortunately, I don't know whether she got herself in that position where people see the need to drag her all the time or it just happens to be. But I think she can do better. When I say better is, you know, I think some of these comments, she could have just ignored them and just block, or just block them because they will keep coming. Are you going to keep having time to address this? And people come and make fun of you and say, who told you your child is last born? And you think it's, this is the end. It's not going to be the end. But you can put an end to what effect it can have on you. You say, okay, they drop a comment you don't like. You you block them or ignore them. You know, I, I look at this and I feel sad when I see when, let me tell you guys, marriage is a beautiful, beautiful thing. We cannot say because of those that your own do not work out and come and say marriage. No, marriage is a beautiful thing, right? But it's not a healthy place to be where you're only basically defined by the man that you're married to. I've made a video before which I said that Two-Face will not be alive forever. None of us will be. So if Two-Face is all she's known for, what's going to happen when Two-Face leaves this world? We're all going to leave at some point. Please God, we'll all live long lives. People's existence can be, how do I even say it? You know, I personally, am not a fan of someone's existence being tied to somebody else's existence. You know what I mean? To be honest, I think I've gone a lot further than I wanted to go in this video. My point is this. I really pray and hope that eventually, you know, Annie Dibia can break away from this, you know, thing around her that 
you know, all people see is two face when they see her. All they think about is two face when they see her. And um, I have to say that there's no reason for Annie Edivia to be ashamed or to be embarrassed or whatever for the actions of her husband. She's not responsible for his actions. And there's no reason why she should be dragged for his actions. That is, you know, basically how I feel about it. Um, as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And um, with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.